that have babies and they dump their diapers with feces in it and they don't put it in a bag and they just <coughs> dump it in. I would like a letter to go out onto each building saying that anyone that has children to please put it in a plastic bag before you dump your diapers. That's unbelievable. No, but it is true. Well, they put children in there. Would you like me to show you in the interlocking what they do? Okay. Um, the the uh, motion I was requesting, um, if the board is, uh, you know, agrees, is that we do one more building intensive with Pest Logic. Grenoble was mentioned, um, and then next month we can again deal with Pest Control. Uh, pest control. Um, so, John, before you leave that, I yeah. have a question. How often do they come? Is it every time? That's the, they have to look at the contract, because I, I don't recall. The contract the I don't recall what, the, what it was, what the contract said. Yeah, but we got to know what are they supposed to be doing. Is it just to get rid of the building? Are they supposed to go inside? And yeah. back? So we need a full report on pest control next month. But, but in the meantime, um, Rabbit, do you agree? Uh, as far as doing a, an intensive in Grenoble? Not at this time. No. Uh, I, I think we should do a follow-up, see what they are doing, and uh, do a follow-up with the uh, with the Nottingham, and uh, interview some people from the Nottingham. And because somebody doesn't report it, doesn't mean they're not there. Right. right. That's what I was going to suggest. Okay. So, we don't need to take not, uh, an, a motion on this item then. John, um, just so. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, no, yeah, we need to follow up really on uh, uh, the, the intensive treatment work or not. We need to either send email to everybody in the Nottingham or take a random session and interview them so that you can get an actual feel of what the treatment did or did it work or did it not work or, or what. Yeah, before you can't ask me other buildings. Okay, sounds good. Um, I think that's understood, right, Nancy, as far as I'm sorry, what is your name again? Nancy. You said that the cost was what, $7,800? $7,800, was that per unit? I mean, I'm not talking about per building, per building, but do they do they guarantee spring every unit for that $7,800? Or they could charge seventy eight hundred dollars and just uh, spray three units. How do we know? I ask I'm the same contract. Um, I think it was like three, four, four months ago, maybe okay, four, five so months, we, three, four months ago. You haven't looked at what the proposals or anything. Okay, so we need to look into the pest control and what they do. Okay, and what they were supposed to do, what did they do, what did they do? and then we follow up, guys, follow up with some Nottingham owners, and then figure it out. Because we were, we don't know what happened three or four months ago. Um, I'm not going to take any more questions on pest control because it is coming back to the next meeting, so we can yeah, discuss it then. The uh, other item I wanted to ask you about, Nancy, was this one about the um, the fence. I'm not sure I understood that one. Uh, fence height. What fence are you are you talking about? Are you talking about the new fence that went up? The one in the back, yeah. The new fence that went up. The wood, the wood, the wood fence. So, but what? So. I don't understand. No, they're not saying because in, in this this is what it says here. It says we have a seven foot fence and we wanted to extend it to eleven feet, yes. which was rejected. So right now it's seven feet. So what we have there is okay. Is that what you're saying? No. Yes. What we have there is okay. What they have right. What according no. to no. the inspector. That's what it says. Because, yeah. no, that's according to well, the inspector, they said. Are you talking to the mic? Oh, <laughs> According to the inspector, when uh, Doreen called, they said, because we asked for a variance, right. which is what everybody wanted, they said it was only up to seven feet, and that's pretty much what we have right now, seven feet. We wanted to extend it to 11 feet with that wooden fence. They're not going to allow that. They rejected that. But, but the, the thing is, is, that fence doesn't extend all the way across. So if they're telling us the height that it is right now is fine, and let's extend it, the concrete yeah. fence is seven The con concrete is not a fence. Concrete is not a fence. Concrete is wall. Seven feet wall. Okay, but this says fence. A wall is a wall, a fence is a fence. Do we know the difference? Sure. Yes. I'm, the, I'm the supervisor. Okay. What are you talking about? Could you, could you go, go on the mic, please? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, what are you talking about? It's the uh, cement. The concrete is seven feet. You can't go higher than the concrete. You understand? And the wooden fence they put on top of the concrete, I gotta get off. It's 
It's not coming off. It's not coming off. Because that's, that's I'm prevented. That's prevented the city well. I don't care what the city says. If that if that if that fence is preventing people from coming, we this is okay. Before you came here, we had four or five cars broken into right at that wall because they came over. So I don't care what the city says. Okay. I really don't. And what, who's going to pay the fine? You? Okay. Who's going to pay for those people that, that had their cars broken into? They have to pay. No, but they're you going to pay because you think you won't take it down. I'm not going to. I'm not going to take it down. I'm not going to vote to take that down. Okay, there's one wall that's small and there's one wall that's big. Right, so, um, Nancy, can we have more clarity in these reports because it seems like there's some uh, misunderstanding between what a fence is and what a wall is, and that's a very big difference between what a fence is and what a wall is. The wall okay. is what exists. Oh, right, I know, but this is not what this says here. It's incomprehensible. But, 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 okay. but you have, John, you have some walls that are lower than the others. It's going back the steps. Therefore, the walls that are lower are not seven feet. They're not, exactly. So so I don't see how this even makes any sense. Like, there's there's no logic here. So I want, I want a, a better report on that at the next meeting because it's not seven feet now. The wall is not seven feet now. So if we can go up to seven feet, let's go up to seven feet, okay? Need to be next Maybe time somebody feet. from our community to be with us, Jake. Okay. Um, anyway, Nancy, you hear what we need. We need everything. We need to go across seven feet all the way because it's not seven feet right now. Okay. Um, seven feet all the way across. All the way across. It's not seven feet now. Don't take anything down that's up there now. Just extend the seven feet all the way out. Because uh, that was the original project. Um, next item is the, what are we up to now, sales and lease? No, you were talking to the manager. That was the last item. Okay, and I yeah. want to ask the manager. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Nancy, in the Zurich building, the front was put down, uh, it's, there's no front on that yeah, no. the Zurich building. And you have to have it according to the documents. When is that going to be taken care of? I believe no, like so after bombarding. What? Like Berlin after bombarding. That's right. <laughs> yes, like ruins. When you look at okay, that, what is going to be with this uh, building? With this building, yeah. what needs to be done is proposal need to be basically it needs to be bid out to put in exactly how it was before. It has well, to be done everything exactly is how going here. It has to go up exactly how it was before. I want to understand. We don't have maintenance. Everything needs to go outside in a bid or construction or something. This has got to be we don't put take back people exactly to work here. Whatever beams were there, the size of the beams, everything yeah. has to but be But this exists in the yard of the maintenance. Somebody needs to fix it and put it back. I don't understand. Well, everything the, is big, this, big, big, big construction. Well, this has got to be carpenters. The guys we have are maintenance. <laughs> and you have maintenance? And they're taking care of, they're, the majority, the, one of the biggest problems we had was that work orders weren't being done. That's what these guys are doing, the ones that we have as tech, because the rest are housekeepers that they're cleaning the buildings. So the few guys that we have as techs, what they're doing is working on those work orders. They're so not carpentry. You need somebody so that's a carpenter to put it back. Everyone is cleaning the buildings now. No, she that's not what she said. Have she said. We have I know what she said. Okay, I don't so get this uh, explanation, maintenance please. Tax. You have maintenance tax that are doing work orders, Another maintenance issue. Can you, so you, need can a you follow up on that? <laughs> another project. Because there's a lot of projects. That another to be project, done. another bid, another people, yeah. another construction company, another approval from you guys. So it's we already came been in a good time seen. now. I'm sorry. Everything construction. Nancy, yeah. it's, it's already been. It's already been. I, I saw when um, George and they had taken that down uh, because it fell. Actually, it fell off. Um, so that's really? about, it's been about five months. So it's going to take, what, another five months for somebody well, to come out there? Yeah, because we've already, they've already approached us on that. We were, that was one of the things we were already looking at. What fell down the concrete? What fell down? The, Zurich. Zurich. The front, the whole front fell. The front of what? Front. Front Zurich. Zurich. Oh, Almost six right months. So, so, what are you talking about, the rail? No. Oh, no. What are you talking about? The actual, What's on the building. Front of the building, oh, the, the framing, the wood that was on oh, there, the okay. beams. You don't it's know, it's not here. That's, that's it's a cosmetic frame. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. that's not construction. That's a decoration. Right. You know, it's not supporting anything. Right. All it is is up there as a design, just like the word 
Zurich is on there. That's right. not construction. Like that's strictly, it it's, strictly a, it's strictly, yeah. yeah, right, that's all, no big deal. Yeah, but it, has, it doesn't require it. Yeah, yeah, look, you, the lines are right there. Yeah. You don't have to get genius to figure out. The lines are right there. Right. Just put it back. It's not construction. It's decoration. It's decoration. Nancy. <laughs> construction. Doug take care of that? Yes, yeah, he's been actually working on it. So we don't need a, we don't need a, a contractor He's working, you know how he's working? We don't need a contractor for that, right? Okay, good. <laughs> uh, next item is the sales and lease report. One bedroom, permanent occupant approved. B two C one bedroom lease nine ninety approved. G one N one bedroom lease nine twenty five approved. H one K one bedroom rollover nine fifty approved. I three V one bedroom lease sixteen hundred approved. M one D one bedroom lease a thousand approved. M one D one bedroom permanent approved. N1D, one bedroom rollover, 900 approved. N1G, one bedroom rollover, 930 approved. N1Q, one bedroom rollover, 950 approved. N3Y, one bedroom lease, 980 approved. O1R efficiency lease, 1300, this was canceled. S1M studio lease, 1100 approved. Z1S, one bedroom lease, 980 was approved. And Z3W, two bedroom rollover, 1,250 approved. Okay, so we need a motion to approve the sales and leasing report and ratify, um, or oh, no, yeah, ratify no, no any sales, actions. No sales? No sales? Okay, no yeah. sales. Um, so also ratify any actions, um, approve any recommendations made by the sales and leasing committee for the period approximately covering the month of November. Um, do we have a motion? Rabbit made the motion. Is there a second on the sales and lease? Is Louis still on the phone? Murat seconded it. Okay. Uh, any discussion on this from the board? Is Louis still on the phone? Uh, Louis, are you still there? Yeah. Okay. So... Well, we have a motion and a second on the tape on the floor. Um, is there any discussion on the board on the sales and lease? If not, we have a question from the membership. Yes. Oh, uh, we got the sales and leases. Could you talk on the on the mic? Um, no, I'll talk. We, on the well, it won't be picked up on is camera. It, uh, it's not picked. Is it um, a turn down reason if somebody doesn't have a driving license to be um, to rent a unit? I, I can't answer that question. Maybe the manager or the... Um, You're the president. You've got the condo box. <laughs> I, you ever seen I don't have them in front turned down because you don't have a driving license. I never heard of that, but they, they right, could... Have, could you address that? Could somebody address that? You have a driving uh, license. I mean, I have no idea um, what particular I've got unit or... I've got people making $45,000 a year. Their credits in the 700s, they're getting turned down because they, they only have a temporary driving license. That makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's the oldest fourth attempt to rent this unit. Well, what? You notice there's no sales yeah. because nobody can sell it here anymore. What? Nobody can sell, nobody can rent. It's very difficult. Who's in charge of this uh, in the office? Who's in charge of this? In the um, I believe a young lady over there called Dorian is in charge of this. <laughs> so why don't we get an answer about this? Could you answer the question, is it a turn down reason if you don't have a driving license? Is there something you want to say about that? Yes, there is something. Please. worse and worse. Nobody is turned down because of a driver's license. There's information that the committee, Sales and Lease Committee requests, especially things like the green card, or a passport, or a visa that's not expired. So what happens is when there's issues like that and concerns like that, an email goes out to either the realtor or the owner or whoever's involved in the application process. 
asking them for the updated information. Once we get the updated information, then the committee re-reviews the application. Um, there were some questions about uh, what, the diff what the Florida law says about the uh, temporary uh, permit uh, license. That means that you only have a permit, you have a permit to drive, and that you need to drive with someone who has a regular license. Uh, in reference to John's uh, request, no, his applicant was not denied because of a driver's license. We're still waiting. I sent out an email today. We're still waiting for the green card. Okay, Excuse on me, these people. In the process of getting a green card, and I have a green card, it takes about a year to get. So they've got a work permit, they're allowed to work in America, but they're not allowed to live in a unit. So these people are homeless until they can rent a unit. The owner's fourth attempt to rent a unit, they've got four, four, uh, seven, seven hundreds in their credit score and they make forty five thousand dollars. You can't get a permanent driving license until you have your green card and they're all in the process. I don't believe that you uh, represent the United States Immigration Authority or the Division of Motor Vehicles. I, I believe you're only in charge of process Okay. Um, John, can I stop you for a second? Can I stop you for a second? John, John, John. Can make a decision, not Doreen. Okay, can I stop you for a second? Is there one of the units that's being considered today? Are any of those units um, a unit that you have uh, any kind of issue with? Any of those units? Which this particular issue? The ones that were just read. Because if not, this is not something that could be discussed. This is, a, this is a unit that should be rented. But it's not on here. No, it's not on the sales okay. no. No. Let's talk about that then. The number of people getting turned down, eventually they're going to get tired. They still, you still demand everything. The thing is, it's not, it's not rejected. That one is not listed here as rejected. I guess it's still in process. This is hidden in the back. Half the sales at least never see these papers. So when, when, when can somebody with the proper income and the proper credit, just because they're a foreigner, you go, it's international village. Okay, I'm so not. Okay. Got passport, they've given the passport. They've given the passport. They've given the work permit. They got the temporary driving mm -hmm. license. I'm not familiar with that one, but but Dorian, could you could you um uh, leave me that file to, to review and uh, so I get a better idea of what what he's talking about? Thank you. Um. So we had a motion and a second on approving this the sales and lease report. Uh. Any any objection? Hearing none. It's approved. Now I want to go back to the security contract. Uh, so at the last meeting, kind of to recap what happened there, uh, we, <clears throat> we uh, had sent the security contract to the uh, association attorney a little over a month ago um, because this is one of our attorneys. Uh, she had some issues with the way, she had some issues with the way it was worded in some areas that she wanted to kind of tighten up or, or uh, modify the language. Um, but we haven't heard back yet on those changes, unfortunately. Uh, so that's still kind of up in the air right now. So uh, what we did at the last meeting was to approve the contract pending the changes, but we don't have the changes back yet. So we don't need to take any, mo any we don't need to uh, take any action right now on this particular item. But in the, me um, on, in the meantime, we, uh, we did have a discussion or I was talking to Rabbit about uh, consider and also the manager about uh, um, if we could consider uh, going to automated for the gate and uh, the savings that would be realized by that. This is just a discussion, but since this is now an open, regular meeting, um, I would like her to address that. Uh, then we could ha have a board discussion and then open it up to the membership on that particular point. Uh, Nancy, did you have a chance to look into any uh, proposals or, or bids or companies that provide the kind of automated gate that we have, like a crop that that's, exists across the street. Uh, what is that? I forget the Las name. Vistas. Las Vistas, for example, uh, and what that would entail, and what that would what savings would um, be realized as a result. Yeah. Well, I haven't done any bids, but um, you're talking about visual security is what they usually have. It's basically. Uh, a camera that they have there, and so whoever comes there has to show their ID to to the security, which is in there, which is in a central station. And then once they research that and they contact the owner, 
they will then allow the person. Are you saying that's what's going across the street? There's a camera there, no. and there. No. I don't no. think that's no. the case. No, no, no. Cool. no that's not true. What you go in is you push, you press the person's number, mm -hmm. you ask them what their number is, and then they buzz you back. But their fence is high up, so that you will not have anybody jump over. If we do automation, it has to be all around, because yes. nobody can right. jump right. over. If you're exactly going to do right. That. So um, that's why I would like us to get bids. I thought, I mean, I thought the conversation was clear, but I guess not. Uh, that we want something, we want to look into something like they have across the street and on a lot of comp complexes, uh, including, well, I don't remember the names, but there's quite a few around that have that kind of uh, access system. Uh, we need to, to know if that's an alternative that we can consider, what the startup cost would be to purchase the, the fence and to have that all installed, um, what uh, time frame we're looking at to get it fully set up, and what savings would be realized over the course of a year, for example. So, um, I mean, I thought that it was clear what we were discussing, but I guess not. You wouldn't be able to do it because you would go in one way, and then they have a separate area that you go out. You can't go out the same way you come in. Go, go across well, the right, 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 right. But, but, like, but we could have it, um, well, it's, if it's wide enough, the entrance, we do have an entrance and exit. We, could, we might be able to do it there, but we need somebody to come out and tell us, you know, logistically what can be done at that uh, entrance. But I don't understand. If you have an issue well, I mean, with the company what gave us, what was it, the guy? You have an issue, something, doesn't matter what the issue. The management company don't have another three, four, six, one, another company to give an offer, somebody's coming and explain what. Do you understand That's what you're it? saying? One company, one. No, there was more than one. Oh, we saw um, only one, sorry. There was more than one security con company. I think he's referring to the actual contract where the contract for security is going to be standard. Um, as far as the conversation we had, it was on Tuesday night. Thanksgiving was Thursday and Friday. Today is Tuesday. She hasn't had the chance to get bids on this service, which is the virtual that she was trying to explain. What you guys were explaining is not what we was talking about. And it's something that you pull up, and they literally, it's a centralized place. Now, let me say this. They're not considering or removing security across the property. They're just referring to the key. Right. So I just wanted to make that clear because I think some people... But if I remember at the last meeting, uh, it was supposed to be a rush for the security if you listen to the tapes from the last meeting. Mm -hmm. So if you have the attorney take care of this, I mean, it's a month ago. I agree because my biggest thing here was the liability of you having employees and you're still having employees. So it's on, it's on the hands of the attorney. I don't have any control with that. What, John? John, hold on. I, I, I don't understand. Microphone. We have somebody with the microphone going around. 